Okay, we're back here live. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. This is SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of EMC World here in Las Vegas. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org. <coughs> Excuse me. John Tontad is here. He's the Director of Marketing and Business Development at Avnet. John, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks a lot. Great, uh, great to be here. Appreciate yes, it. Avnet, very interesting company. You guys are you know, a fantastic brand and you know, very partner oriented um, yeah. in a lot of places. Uh, right. So let's start there. Uh, sure. Tell us about Avnet. I've always been fascinated by the business model. I, bought, I watched the ascendancy of, of Avnet during right. the sort of early days of the, you know, the PC and, uh, and from there you just have transformed the company a number yep. of times and, and have evolved. So, Talk about sort of where you guys are today and that unique sure. business model and why you're so strong in the marketplace. Appreciate that. Um, what, if you sort of think about distribution, it's been an evolution of sort of pick, pack, and ship, and then supply chain. And where Avnet is today is we've moved into solutions distribution. And for us, what solutions distribution means is not only uh, helping our partners deliver uh, solutions to the marketplace, but effectively helping them in a number of different areas, right? So, so first and foremost, from a services component, um, from a marketing uh, and vert verticalization uh, approach, we've, we actually spent a, a fair amount of resources at helping our partners define white space and how to go attack that white space. And then from a product perspective, uh, VSpecs for us is, is a game changer, right? Because it allows us to bring the full value of uh, our line card uh, to, to the VSpecs motion and, and bring out really differentiated solutions. Yeah, so this move toward solutions, uh, um, right. what's driving that? Is it just there's so much complexity in IT? Is it the, we got to <laughs> do more with less? You know, yeah. small, mid-sized businesses just don't have the resources. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. The, for the solutions uh, distribution comment, I think it can be addressed at, at several levels. The, the first level is uh, how our partners are taking uh, their end solutions out, out to the marketplace, right? So, so uh, it, it's, it's gone past a point product into a multi-branded, multi-vendor approach. I, I think overall, uh, the market's driven our partners to do that. From an Avnet context, uh, solutions distribution means that we help our partners deliver uh, solutions in, in a context where they may not have the existing resources and capabilities to do that. Most of those resources uh, has been helping our partners to define uh, just that white space. H how do they bring incremental uh, technologies to the marketplace uh, and, and find it uh, through a verticalized market approach? So take us back a year. So you, sure. had, you had this whole converged infrastructure trend. Um, you know, you had certain guys focusing you know, on the infrastructure piece, you had yep. other guys like Oracle trying to you know, do the whole, whole stack. Yeah. Um, and, and you saw, for instance, VBlock come out, very right. high end, you know, totally integrated. Yeah. Um, and then VSpecs yep. gets announced. You know, it's around about last April, I think. That's right. So what was the white space at the time and what did VSpecs fill? Sure, so if, if you sort of think about uh, VBlock, uh, and, and, and our message to the community is, is consistent with EMC, and that is, VC is the single shortest path uh, to TCO, right? The challenge around uh, uh, some of our partners delivering a solution like VBlock is that choice is limited, right? So some number of our partners have different compute choices, have different uh, hypervisor choices, different networking choices. And so VSpecs allows a partner to, to bring that ecosystem together and still deliver a converged infrastructure. So for us, we, we sort of accelerate that conversation a little bit further because we, we've got the broadest uh, list of, of alliance part of VSpecs alliance partners, right? Every one of those alliance partners is on our line card. Yes, yeah, so 
You know, it's funny, you, you mentioned that, it's, we used to joke with Mike Capella, so, you know, any size, any, any color you want as long as it's black. Right. right? He used to say that <laughs> on the cube. Black but, is beautiful. Though. Yeah, okay, so, okay, so now, so yeah. why V-Specs? I sure. mean, there's other solutions in the marketplace. I know right. you're, you know, tight EMC uh, partner, yep. but why V-Specs? So, I, I think, um, the single biggest driver for both Avnet and our partners, in, in the most simplest of terms, is, is choice and profitability, right? So from a choice perspective, it, it significantly expands uh, our partner's ability to, to, to pick and choose the components um, under EMC's proven architectures. Uh, and the second piece is, it allows our partners to deliver a great deal of services, right? So, so from a services enablement motion, VSpecs is, is probably the, the single biggest so, generator. So Pat Gelsinger was just on theCUBE here, yeah. and now CEO of uh, VMware, talk about this. they want to be a service broker. Yeah. You guys are in the solutions distribution business, right. which is what people want. They essentially did yeah. service brokering. So, yeah. so how is this new world changing? You just mentioned some of those, those points. Yeah. What are some of the dynamics in the marketplace that, that you're experiencing with the VSpecs, in particular, that kind of telegraphs the new world? Right, <clears throat> so I, 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 I answer it in, in a couple of ways. The first one is, uh, uh, as part of the uh, Velocity program, we were recently authorized to, to provide services and specifically implementation of VNX, right? And so what that did at that moment was significantly expand the number of partners who can deliver now a VSpec solution to the market, right? Because we're, so sort of think of the Verizon commercial, right? So we're, we're, we're the army behind the partner that, that allows the partner to then deliver a, a variety of different solutions. That is probably the single biggest lever um, from, from our context and, and from an EMC context o over the last uh, several years. Right. Can, can you talk a little bit more, sure. John, about um, services? Uh, you know, yeah. Services means margin to a lot of partners. Absolutely. So, so talk about the types of services and, and how that drives profitability for the partners. Sure. So from a, uh, uh, most of our partners have, um, uh, have a, a, a meaningful or, or, or a substantial bench that um, uh, you know, the, the way they, they increase their profitability is about using the right bench for the right opportunity, right? And so, if you sort of think where rack and stack services and or then consulting services, say around VMware, um, you, you clearly make a, a great deal more money with, with an EMC certified uh, VMware engineer in a consulting environment uh, versus a, a rack and stack environment. So, so the partners now are, are allowed to sort of get out of the drudgery of, of the lower end, uh, part of the market and really focus on, on consulting services and, and that's that's really the highest uh, part of the, the profitability model. Now how are, right. how are they approaching that? Um, what can you share with us in terms of, do they have to reskill, uh, right. do they have yeah. to retrain, and what are you and EMC doing to help them get there? Sure, so uh, if, if you th sort of think about uh, us from a, from a pure distribution context, uh, we, we sort of have three very important jobs. The first job that we have is to enable and train our partners, right? Both from a technical perspective and then, and then from a marketing and sales enablement perspective. Avnet does a great deal of that, that heavy lifting. So once we're able to, to operationalize a partner from, from a, a technical perspective, that partner then, then can go out and capitalize on sort of high value services. We have a, uh, a service model that allows a partner to scale uh, uh, the partner's bench as needed, right? So, so if they need uh, sort of the, the lower end uh, of services, uh, we'll, we'll take care of that. We can augment the partner. And then, and then equally, if the partner has uh, uh, competencies that, uh, that, that we're, we're, we're not involved with, uh, there's a great deal of partnering going on. So, you also talked about the verticalization aspect. Sure. Um, can you be more specific and add a little bit of color to that? What, what are yeah. you talking about in terms of verticals? What sure. kind of verticals? What does that all mean? Yep, so, so Avnet uh, invested a fair amount of uh, time, effort, and energy in looking at how our partners grow, and, and uh, at our core, we believe that uh, you can grow faster than the marketplace by, by focusing on a, on a specific vertical. Uh, in, in our instance, uh, healthcare is our single largest uh, uh, vertical practice 
that has enabled our partners to, to grow uh, literally faster, in, in, in some instances, two to three times faster than, than the market, uh, th than if they were to focus it on a horizontal basis. So, you know, if you think about healthcare and what it takes for a partner to, to start from zero and, and, then, and then be able to, to uh, speak, articulate, position solutions um, in a healthcare environment, that, that, that is uh, a significant uh, value prop that, that we bring to the market. Okay, so yep. you know when you think of, of verticalization, you think of yep. the big you know consulting firms like an Accenture or Deloitte, I gotcha. and of yep. course the, the small guys can't afford those, right? right? I mean, so so if I understand it correctly, you're enabling your partners to sort of do lightweight version, lighter weight versions sure. of that for yep. their customers. Is that right? That, that that's exactly right. Um, <clears throat> so so to your point, I think that a, a lot of of uh, uh, our partners today sort of look at the market uh, from, from a horizontal perspective and the cost that it takes to get the, uh, the intelligence, right? All, all of the, the business intelligence um, around the, the data analysis of where the white space is in a particular uh, market, right? So, so whether it be uh, hospitals, uh, where, where it be other sort of healthcare providers, that takes a, a certain amount of, of investment to do. And so to your point, our small partners can't do that. And, and so when they partner with Avnet, we, we essentially accelerate their ability to, to get into the space, and then we, we help them, um, uh, once they develop a specific, specific vertical, uh, we, we then have five others uh, to, to focus on. So you guys are like a machine. You know, it takes some time to get you know, all it right, and then the program, and then <laughs> it goes. Um, can you talk about some of the impacts that you've had uh, generally, but specifically with VSpecs, in yeah. terms of any you know metrics that you can share. I mean, what's the business case uh, from the for the customers' you know benefit? Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, so, if, if you sort of think about the, the evolution of, of how you know how and when VSpecs was announced, it was roughly uh, this time last year, mm. and and it started out as as a as a reference architecture. Uh, to give partners the ability to start talking about uh, private cloud deployment uh, with, uh, with a, a broad reach of compute network and storage. From the time it started to where it is today, I think a lot of partners uh, are seeing the growth in the Converge uh, infrastructure space and that vSpecs has definitely filled the void of how to accelerate delivering those solutions to the market, right? So, so the, the solutions are, are pre-validated by EMC, right? And, and so the, a lot of the guesswork uh, has been removed from a, from a DIY model to, to now a VSpecs model, and, and I think with, with the latest um, announcement around services, both partner and distribution services, now we can really look at how, how uh, the acceleration of, of VSpecs can, can really uh, be brought to the market. So, so is Roll Your Own pretty much dead in your, in your view? Well, or still no, I, I, I wouldn't say it's dead. I, I would say that, uh, it, right, so uh, everything in life sort of comes down to uh, time and money, and, and so it's, it's about ROI. If you're looking to deliver converged infrastructures and do it quickly, um, DIY is, is, is still a, an option for partners who, who have the technical bandwidth to do that. The reality is if you look at what the market is looking for in terms of the desire to consume converged infrastructures and the partner's ability to deliver that, um, VSpecs really answers the call. And, uh, and so I wouldn't say DIY is dead. I, I would say it's, it's uh, it's on it life is, support. Yeah, it's, it's on life support. <laughs> All right, John. <laughs> That's great. Well, listen, thanks very much for, for coming in theCUBE. Really appreciate the time. Well, thank and the you insights. very much. All right, everybody, keep it right, th right there. We'll be right back with our next guest. This is theCUBE. We're live from EMC World, day two.